you heard of any organizations running into performance issues when using SD-WAN due to the reduced MTU size? Uh, this is really the classic tunneling problem when you're adding tunnel overhead to a packet. You're doing an encapsulation and then you can run into some challenges there. So I could take this on and you know describe it but I was curious uh, Chris have you you comfortable enough talking through just kind of explaining what this problem is and then uh, we can kind of dive in from there uh, yeah sure thing well I think it's kind of interesting how you know even in 2019 SD-WAN can still mean so many things that the answer to this question is yeah maybe yeah it might you know <laughs> because we have so many tunneling protocols I mean behind the scenes is your SD1 provider still doing MPLS? Are they doing IPsec? Are they doing GRE? Um, you know, there's a whole variety of things. Um, perhaps I'm being naive. In a way, in, in the UK, SD1 hasn't, uh, it, it hasn't had as much of a requirement uh, as, as in America, I think just because we're, we're a small country, it's, it's, it's a thing, just not, it feels maybe like it's still sort of three, four years behind uh, in the U S but, um, so, so I sort of don't have many experiences of, of hearing about it, but uh, I would have thought, and I'm interested in what the panel think about this. I would have thought that it is less of a problem than actually working out what the overhead of processing the tunnel thing in the first place is. For example, if your SD one provider is doing IPsec to, to carry the traffic, there is then going to be a, a delay overhead in encrypting the traffic and decrypting the traffic. Nowadays, we can probably do that in hardware, but is your specific SD-WAN provider doing that in hardware? I would have thought that that would cause more of a performance issue than the MTU, because although it's going to be reduced, it's not going to be reduced by, you know, orders of magnitude, right? We're going to be losing maybe 100 bytes or whatever, you know. Um, it, am, am I naive in thinking that? the rest of the panel or what do you think? Uh, a, a couple of thoughts here. You know, one is the issue could be tied to kind of the old issue of fragmentation where now that you've put, um, you know, a wrap around it, you have to do, do fragmentation somewhere in that pipeline. And I would hope that uh, the average SD-WAN provider, you don't have that problem uh, because they're, they're dealing with that. And the payloads that are arriving at the tunnel interface aren't having to be fragmented because the network knows, oh, I need to send you know, a smaller payload inbound. But that, you know, the old classic problem of path MTU discovery, and sometimes it doesn't work, can rear its ugly head and you could have some minor performance problems there. Uh, the performance problems would be tied back to uh, fragment reassembly on the other end. But again, that's such an old problem that is well known. And gosh, I haven't heard of that in the SD-WAN world where people are complaining about that as a problem. And I agree with you, Chris, if we're dealing with you know, a small amount of overhead, relatively speaking, is that really hurting us that badly? You know, it, I guess it would depend on your payload. If you had a lot of huge packets going through the pipeline that are being uh, encapsulated and, and our payloads had to get a little bit smaller, because our MTU um, for that encapsulated packet just got reduced. Yeah, you would take a little bit of a hit, uh, I suppose. You know, pretty pretty nominal. Is it bad enough to affect your app in such a way that you'd be, oh, I don't know if I want to do SD WAN. Boy, I hope not. You know, I <laughs> I hope not. I think SD WAN providers would lose business pretty quickly if that <laughs> if that came to be the thing. So I think in that respect, it's probably fine. But as I say, I, I think. Again, maybe it's just the fact that it's still such a new technology that we haven't heard as many of these stories yet. I don't think it should be any different than like an IPsec in, uh, encapsulation or anything else. So we're living with that today. So I don't know that SD-WAN is going to change it. We've got a comment from the audience saying uh, bugs or misconfigurations more so than MTU issues in, in this person's experience so far, but maybe we just haven't hit that threshold yet. Yeah, bugs are certainly a thing uh, in, in the SDN realm. Um, you know, no matter what vendor you're using, someone's got some challenges or another. It's a complicated technology, and the more capable the SD-WAN product is, the more is going on under the hood. There's uh, plenty of opportunity for, for quirky bugs. Yeah, another, another comment here. You know, MTU hasn't been a problem for a long time, so why, why would SD-WAN make it an issue now? And I, I, I agree. It's like, this is such an old problem. I, I'm just dubious that SDMA would introduce anything new 
to the to the equation here. Thank <laughs> you.